There is no escape for you. The high table wants your life. I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. And so far, you haven't disappointed. I went into the theater very excited because I thought John Wick Chapter 2 was great and it can only get better from here. John Wick Chapter 3 starts off where John Wick Chapter 2 left off. John Wick is excommunicado and that means that he is no longer able to use the Continental Services. He's no longer able to go to other establishments and use their services. So John Wick goes off on his journey and he fights some people, which is exhilarating as always. He fights this one guy who reminded me of the villain Jaws from the James Bond movies. He kind of looked like him. And so that's how I looked at it. I was like, oh, he looks like Jaws from the Bond movies. And it was an awesome fight scene and the way it ended was very brutal. Then we go along and John Wick is trying to get some help from people and this movie to me, it is just an action movie. There's nothing to it. It's just a bunch of shooting and fighting. And the choreography and the action is amazing. The performers are doing a great job and the special effects department are doing a great job and the cinematographers are doing a great job and the set design people are doing a great job. There's all these amazing aspects in it, but the story is so thin. I believe that the element that these action sequences within John Wick Chapter 3 are missing is an objective. There are no objectives other than to shoot and move on. So for me, it kind of loses emotional gravity because you know John Wick's not going to die. I don't feel any emotional connection to any of these characters i'm just watching situations happen like a video game you go from one cut scene and you have your action scene one cut scene to another and then an action scene and that's how this movie felt it just went on and on and on and i felt like you know if we had these action scenes in a max Payne movie then the story would be much better my verdict for this movie is it's okay it's a fun movie if you just want to see some action and people get shot in the face. The choreography is great, the acting is great, the set design is great, cinematography is great. Lots of technical aspects in this movie that are great. But as far as the script goes, the script is too thin. So within the action scenes, I don't feel any emotion to it. I don't care. After five minutes in, I'm just saying to myself, okay, can we move along? Then when, when we do get back to the story, I kind of don't care because to me, the movie just ends exactly where it began. And that's all I have to say. So as always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.